Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a sort of different guide because I want to focus mainly on delivering the content, the tutorial that I want to talk about besides runes and builds and then I just want to cut the video short just for the important fights and as you have seen probably from my improved thumbnail I try to find some balance between sort of clickbaitish, sort of useful information but I will actually deliver onto... he didn't work... I will actually deliver onto the part of the what I want to talk about of the actual information so this is not clickbait this will be actual stuff and I will present you the build the runes and the main idea besides what uh, why I want to think and what I think that is the best way uh, to play Tlia in season in season uh, 11 go, go, go. honestly it's good because we got him Alright, I'm playing Tlia mid with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Prince of Mine, Cup the Grace, and his rune stats. I'm playing with Corrupting and Exhaust and all of this stuff. And also I'm playing with uh, Ludens into Sork Shoes into something like Zonia. All of this stuff will actually work towards the main goal of the video and the main idea behind it to actually play only around my ADC and to sacrifice as much as I can from me to give to him. Also, there is a sieve. I think they. Am, am, am I getting ganked or what? So the build it's simple. We go for Ludens. We go for Sork Shoes. We go for Zonia. Oh yeah, that's fine. Into Rabadons. Into we'll see. Uh, the corrupting potion is uh, mainly for sustain and for having a lot more mana. Don't forget whenever you use uh, auto attacks or you fight. Don't forget to use it to deal that damage from the passive and also remember that you have uh, less uh, auto attack damage because you don't have the door on ring besides that we're going to start focusing the main point of the discussion uh, onto the idea that uh, ADCs are much more strong right now compared to the end of the season uh, 10 and compared to the start of the season 11 they became a lot more stronger than uh, they were before i think also i have perfect farm which is amazing and i'm also not in solo queue guys i don't have any reason to lie i'm in flex because i want to focus on talking about this idea not on to doing uh, a hard game in terms of uh, in terms of attention because if i play solo queue i wouldn't be able to explain all of this stuff because i would be able to because i would have to focus more on the not getting ganked and all of that stuff okay uh, i will also probably stream into the weekend that if you are interested the uh, master tier gameplay i'm master tier right now and probably pantheon or tlia top or even pantheon mid or tlia mid or tlia jungle depending on what it's needed Alright, I'm gonna do a full queue there, also I'm going to expect an echo gang to my face. Alright, gonna back off towards, to talk about a bit more towards the idea. Alright. I'm gonna position myself here because echo is coming, I think. Okay, let's, let's just gank the echo and we're going to see. Jump, 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 jump here, jump here. Ah, okay, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. All right, going back mid. Okay, so the main idea is that at the end of the last season and the beginning of right of season eleven, uh, they shifted a bit of power. They changed at the end of the season a bit so that mid laners are more ahead in levels and experience. But the season has changed and they changed the rules for mid roamers and twisted fate and uh, champions like. Okay, adopt. You have. I'm gonna flash get the first blood here okay champions like twisted fate aurelion soul and uh, tulia mid especially suffer greatly this patch if you haven't seen because of the cost that has been added added to the cannon minions so basically you lose uh, more gold and experience if you roam and you don't treat cannon waves well you don't see that many roamers anymore uh, besides the ad champions which are the uh, strong in nature basically pantheon and talon are very strong as champions and katarina as well if she roams i lost a lot of cs here i'm triggered okay, okay. i'm gonna do a full queue here and i'm gonna get these two and i'm 
gonna start to slowly push if I can and then I'm going to go back for a tome. Basically because uh, AP mid mages, uh, mid roamers are uh, forced to roam and are gated a lot more by mana as you can see here on Talia, as you can see on Twisted Fate likely and on Aurelion Soul. I think that's the main reason why um, Talon and Pantheon shine a bit more. Also Talon and Pantheon can actually not even roam and just... Uh, and just win uh, regardless because they can kill the opponent. Leah Twisted Fate or Leon Soul cannot generally one versus one the enemy opponent, and that makes the uh, that makes the uh, AP mages in a much worse state than the AD champions that we spoke about. And if you think about it, it makes sense a bit because. Talon and Pantheon can just uh, d destroy the enemy mid if they can't roam and Pantheon roams even better than uh, Tilia's and Pantheon mana costs are better and even Talon's mana costs are better by a large margin because obviously they have to be better because they are melee and they are not ranged they get the trade off uh, of that and I'm gonna cast here a W combo so we get that I'm gonna lose that alright Shen casted ult or he thinks that Shen has ult I'm not sure Alright, so the main thing that you need to know now is that it's a lot more harder to play Talia mid in terms of uh, carrying the game alone and Talia never actually carried the game alone unless she got a lot of kills and then she moved uh, and then she moved and one shot people by surprise so to say and in that case I think he wins both if he does the Q there ah. in that case uh, you can be certain that uh, if Tulia missed the full combo, even if she was fed, she still had to struggle. Now I found out that I can get kills, I can be 7-0 in a game, and I will probably still lose if their ADC is stronger than ours. So I want to switch your, in your mind and mine. This is the thing that you need to know. I want to switch your behavior in terms of kills, first of all, and in terms of roams. I want you to think more as a fully roam champion than as a care about CS, care about your tower, uh, care about your mid lane opponent and just focus more on getting your ADC fed. ADCs, especially the ones with Gale Force in this patch are insanely more strong uh, by a large margin and in the, in the last patch as well because this patch could nerf the Gale Force a bit, but Kraken Slayer as well. And ADC items are in a pretty good state into the late game. They are scaling the best into the game, I'd say. Uh, besides some bruisers that scale insanely well, such as maybe Jackson Fiora, I'd say it's best to have a fed ADC in team. And that would turn the thing away uh, t towards the fact that uh, that will turn the things towards the fact that you want your ADC to always be ahead So when you gank bot you want to pass him the kills and when in team fights you want to peel for him And that is the logic besides in, in today exhaust, right? Okay, we missed that. I'm gonna hit the combo I'm gonna miss the Q, but I think we're still getting her good. Good job Bart. I'm just uh, playing with exhaust not because I know uh, I could do better with Ignite, but because I know I can do much better in team fights with it, with Exhaust. So basically, by playing with Exhaust, I ensure in every team fight, if I position myself correctly, and if I keep Exhaust for the important team fights that are before an objective and not random rundowns on mid. So basically, before the fourth trade, before a Baron, it's very important to focus on these things and. If you play correctly, if you keep your uh, exhaust correctly, then you will have an amazing time in those team fights. Because what will happen is that you will have an extra exhaust in the fight. You will exhaust the enemy ADC. I should have gone bot here, for example, instead of helping the guy because they are diving the gin. So I'm not I'm not doing what I'm saying because I got the bard ganks. But that's the goal of the game. Graves is ahead. Graves acts as an ADC for for some reason, as uh, sort of. But that does not excuse the fact that you have to actually help Jin get ahead. So whenever you're seeing him, try to go there. I, I don't, I didn't go there yet because I had a decent lane and also if, uh, and also if the guy ints or dies. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I think I can get the. Ah, cast the Q there. I don't have mana. Uh, nice. Oh. Help? <laughs> that was the gank. The teleport gank from the guy. I've uh, inted a bit because I let my uh, guard down with the graves. So, uh, this game we won hard on the top side, as you can see. 
uh, but that's not the point of the game. The point of the game is helping Jin. Uh, Graves is a good uh, example. Graves and Olaf and maybe Kha'Zix are good examples of what to help or even an overfed Lila. But in general, you'd want to help the ADC. Graves counts as an ADC. This theory still stands. Oh my god, I'm missing the plate. Plate, 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 plate. Two plates? That's too much. So as you can see, he's, uh, he's losing because we focused on to that and you will see that soon enough CV will be a pretty big threat. And that's why we have exhaust. That's one thing. Another thing, we play with corrupting because we want to be more present on the map at all times because we have more sustain. Another thing is that we play with dark harvest because even though we don't stack it, in teamfights we have more damage potential because it resets. And this is a Talia teamfight oriented thing. I present and get everything and control and move them towards the team fighting. Basically, all the focus comes towards the team fights. Not the early game, not necessarily the mid game, but the team fights. I didn't go for kills, for example, because I didn't really have any reason to, and that's not the goal. The goal, very simple, as we spoke, team fighting. Also, a lot of vision words, guys. That's another important factor. I'm gonna move here. Echo might come. Uh, Oriana might come. And also, we see now. We see now the scuttle on bot. We move towards there so that Oriana doesn't do that. And we know that she has no teleport. We can uh, try to create a dive here. Uh, I don't think we can necessarily create that. Okay, we can. And as you can see, we got that. I have exhaust for Echo if he comes. We got the trash before the Shen came. Uh, we give now advantage regardless to Jin because of the plates and because Sibir is away from minion and experience. And in general, this is a pretty damn good plan. And I'm gonna cast the W combo there. Please leave me alone. Alright, then we can cast uh, Corrupting Potions. When you play with uh, Corrupting, you have a lot more uh, safety net, but you have a lot more damage into your face so to say because uh, corrupting assumes that you're going to not get instantly burst I'm getting pinged I'm backing off okay I see Graves oh Graves is low that's why I thought he's more healthy than this also Ravenous Hunter got uh, nerfed again so I'm not sure how many more uh, how many more patches it will survive okay, I can go yeah I can go for a scuttle here oh they started. Can we? I doubt we can. We can try to steal, but Oriana doesn't move. That's why I move. Now nah, we failed. I'm gonna dodge that. Oh, there is an Oriana. Okay, she backed off. Yeah, we couldn't do much there, but it's fine. I could probably try to go for this scuttle. I'm gonna miss that. Yeah, I was sure. Uh, this is a good idea or not? No, I'm backing off. Not a good idea necessarily to follow that because I don't have mana. Alright, so what you gotta do, guys? Let's clean up and maybe just uh, maybe just put the most important moments. If I forget, sorry. Uh, let's let's uh, review the stuff. What you have to do. Basically, try to help your ADC get ahead or your jungler if your jungler is an um, ADC or hyper carry. Mastery counts too. And if you don't have, if you're in the 90%, 80% cases of the games, uh, look, look, Graves does what he has to do. If you're in the 90% of the cases, you go for the actual. Uh... See, I'm not getting the kill, but part did. <laughs> <laughs> he said my bad, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's what you gotta do. I I generally got the kills in the past and that costed me a lot. Uh, especially in these patches because uh, my ADC suffered more than actually gained stuff. And while you can gank bots, uh, you can make them use summoners. It's best to try to pass kills to him. Also, I'm playing decently well, surprisingly, because even though I'm a bit tired... This still works so again move the focus move the focus towards the bot lane very very important that's the first step okay second step 
keep exhaust for the enemy ADC or the enemy hyper carry jungler. Try to that's the second step. Third step, try to pass kills towards your ADC or your hyper carry jungler. Do not take do not take kills at all if you can. Fourth step, uh, try to always have it the exhaust before the fights. So focus on to having that exhaust, not just picking it up and using it in bad in bad fights. The fifth step, uh, okay, I can. The fifth step, uh, get your trinket if needed, uh, move towards areas in which you can actually... What is this guy doing? Oh, Shen coming in. We win this. We win this. Okay, exhaust. Man, your damage. <laughs> We could have killed them all! Oh, he has ult! He has ult! He has ult! We're beating them all! <laughs> oh, no, it's nice, so that's, that's what I'm talking about. Transvert, converting those, uh, converting those moments, uh, helping your ADC whenever available, putting kills on him, we got, we got it to turn it around because we played well. Let's look at these couples, they are beautiful. Okay, get that and we are pretty well into the game we also have a lot of CS uh, I should have ganked a lot more for this game to be simpler for us so again I'm not respecting the rule that well either because it's a new rule for me too it's how the game has changed guys so unless uh, unless you're a pro or something that really understands these things look again they are getting focused. I'm going bot. I'm helping them out. Okay, I'm gonna get damage to my face. Doesn't matter if I die if Jin gets the kills. Or Bard, but man. Can we work on to the... Ah! Pass the kills to him! <laughs> Grace got the kills. It's fine. Ideally, if the enemy ADC dies, then it loses stuff. So it doesn't get CS. So that's also okay. I also want sometimes to go for Rabadon second, such as... I wanted initially to go for Zonia, but there isn't really anyone to kill me in their team. And so in team fights, what you gotta do is stay nearby your ADC, wait for Echo or uh, wait for Severe to come close, exhaust them, or even exhaust Oriana before the ult, and bam, you won the game. Basically, let's say you have a Jax in the enemy team, and I don't think I'm cutting the game short simply because I'm having so much to talk about. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, let's say there is a Jax on your gene. Jin has Gale Force and Flash, he can peel himself off, he also has a support. You can also cast W to push the Jax away from the target, from your Jin. And that would just do a lot more than trying to one shot and failing. Let's say you jump on the enemy ADC and she flashes or he flashes your combo. Well congrats, you're just useless now. But you can try better... Uh, you can try better to just peel your ADC and even if the opponent flashes at least you damaged him and you helped your ADC uh, get him uh, down lower. Okay. I don't think they have words here. Ah, they have. I'm not sure why I'm doing this one versus two. I shouldn't because I'm not winning this. I'm certainly not winning this. What? And as you can see, <laughs> I'm not that strong, I'm minting. Trash got the kill though, again another major mistake. See, my, my uh, yeah, that ignore that play please. See, my, my uh, backpack is full all the time of control words, my exhaust will be kept for team fights. my dark harvest is ready for team fights. I will try to uh, do engages only when I have it, and, and then you'll ask, what do I do with my ult? Well, you no longer try to engage with your ult and get the full combo on someone, look, this is bad for us, for example, because I wasn't there to exhaust the Oriana, I wasn't there to help, but they have no objective to take. So we now prepare for the Baron. We are extremely ahead even though it doesn't look like it. Uh, even though uh, our gene is uh, even with the Sivir, which is fine. Graves is massively ahead, Dario is massively ahead in CS, it's fine. I'm ahead in kills. Uh, we are massively ahead with 5 to 7k gold, I would say. I would guess. And so uh, I would just argue with going for Baron. Also in team fights, you can go for, uh, you can go for Baron and... Uh, cast them away with the ult, this is the advice that I give. But nowadays, for example, if I'm here with Jin, I will not ult and try to instantly combo someone as I would in the past and then Zonia out, I would just wait for them to engage or would wait for 
me to pick someone up from a spot like this, for example, and uh, actually do something good for myself. And I think he got... Okay, good, run. Okay. Okay. See, I'm not, I'm not rushing in. I'm not doing stupid things. I know the power of Gale Force. I understand it. I play with it. I'm also getting severe here. Okay, go, 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 go. Get him. Get him. Okay. How did Darius die though without doing <laughs> anything? Uh, oh. Okay. We should go for this. Come, come. Go from the other side. Man, don't. Okay, Jin saved us. Legit saved us. Okay, Jin, help, 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 help. Get a kill, good. Okay. I got the Orianna, but I got exploded by her too. The follow up was bad. Okay, good, 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 good. Could have flashed out, could have zoned out probably in time. Should have reacted faster to that. That's my bad. Did she flash though? No, no, back, 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 back. Just wait. Pass the tower if needed. Pass the inhib if needed. Or not. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Okay. This is uh, the power of Jin, by the way, the Jin that we talked about. <laughs> okay. And now we'll see the power of Severe. And as I've told you, what? Man, that should have been illegal. Is my laptop done? That was very blind, and I enjoyed it roughly. Come on, fight me. You could probably end the game here, by the way. This is the last fight, if you fail this... Towers, kindly back off because we're gonna die. Twenty stacks. Is that thirty stacks? Holy! You're giving them. If you recall it here, you're giving them uh, actual the actual buff. like okay don't get baited by that old holy bait uh okay Jin lived if Jin lived through that then it means we can we can win through more Four seconds. Okay. I have exhaust now. I don't have heal. I need to heal up on something. For example, this. Base. Base. Okay. 
Okay, fine. I could have just run away and end. I could try that after after this. Basically, we win this slightly because of those towers, and we can do it again. And if they come, I could just halt. They, <laughs> I can't believe those minions are actually this uh, doing this. Also having exhaust, but I don't think I will have react reactions for uh, for the guy for the echo. Baron as well. Echo is on that side and he's trying to flank me. Okay. We can win now. We can go mid easily. If they heal. Okay, Darius doing the full combo. Okay, I guess that's it. No oh, eggs, nine eggs, graves, flame. That was it. That was an example example of uh, how to play accordingly around your ADC. Not quite accordingly, because. Uh, there wasn't really that much space for him to develop early on. I should have done more ganks. Uh, but the, the idea behind it stands. And you should likely try to peel him as much as you can. Look, I've kept Echo away from him. Even though he had only the Orianna ult to keep in mind. And even though he got hit by it, he lived. And that was enough for us to move... Uh, oh, gold one. That's some elo. That's a big elo. Look at the damage though. Damage dealt. Look at the damage though. This is the first game in Flex Improvision. It's, it's, or, yeah, I think it's a, amongst the first ones. So, again, you can see here the amount of damage that I did. I did even more. I, was, I didn't do more than severe by 70, 70 damage or something. Yeah. Although, what's important, you can notice the ADC damage here on their team, on our team, are amongst the first. Uh, even though for this game we had two ADCs, we split between them. I gave kills to the Graves early on, it went well. Uh, he was a bit toxic, but let's ignore that. And uh, you should generally try to focus on that, on getting your ADC ahead as much as you can. Because this is an ADC meta, mid to late game ADC meta, and if your bot loses hard and even if though your, your mid and top are quite even, you're going to struggle. Uh, if your jungler is ahead in his hyper carry, then you have chances even on top. But I'd say if uh, the support peels well, I'd say into the mid to late game, the ADC will start to be insanely strong. And this is true for the higher elo you go. For this game, we could have seen a lot more macro decisions, better macro decisions. But again, lower elo means... Uh, this kind of stuff and uh, yeah try this please try and see what you think about it and let's go let's apply and learn and be better all of us i'm drumat and i see and i hope you have a really wonderful week ahead goodbye guys